Sometimes we need to convert areas given in one unit to a different unit. Here we'll see how we can do that. The table here shows that each length unit has a corresponding area unit, which is the length unit squared. Before we move on, we'll just review a little something about exponents. The product of two numbers, a times b squared, is equal to a squared times b squared. Also, a to the power x to the power y equals a to the power of x times y. Keep these two things in mind as we proceed. Now, if we take a number with a unit and square it, we get the number squared with the unit also squared. For example, let's say we have a thousand meters and we square it. It is equal to a thousand squared meters squared. And a thousand squared meters squared is equal to one million meters squared. Now we'll do the same question using exponents. 10 to the third meters squared is equal to 10 to the third squared meters squared. 10 to the power 3 squared is the same as 10 to the power of 3 times 2, or 10 to the power 6. So we get 10 to the 6 meters squared for our answer. This is the same as 1 million meters squared. In this table, we'll look at a few relationships between lengths in various units. For example, we know that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. This works well for length. Next, we'll square this relationship, which means we square both sides of the equation. 1 centimeter all squared is equal to 10 millimeters all squared. In the third column, we'll expand this equation so both the numbers and the units are squared separately. For example, 1 centimeter all squared is 1 squared centimeters squared. And 10 millimeters all squared is equal to 10 squared millimeters squared. So expanding the equation in column 2 gives us this equation in column 3. 1 squared is just equal to 1. So in the last column, we'll write 1 centimeter squared equals 10 squared millimeters squared. This now gives us the relationship between the two area units, centimeters squared and millimeters squared. So we'll call column 4 area relationships. Let's try another relationship that works for length and see if we can use this one to create a relationship for areas. We know that 1 meter is equal to 100 or 10 squared centimeters. Now we'll square both sides of this equation to give us 1 meter all squared is equal to 10 squared centimeters all squared. In this column, we'll expand it to 1 squared meters squared equals 10 squared squared centimeters squared. 1 squared is 1, and 10 squared squared is 10 to the power 4. So now we have the equation 1 meter squared is equal to 10 to the 4th centimeter squared. We can now use this equation to compare area in meters squared to area in centimeters squared. Let's do another one. We know that a length of 1 meter is the same as 1,000 millimeters, or 10 to the power 3 millimeters. We'll square both sides of this equation and expand it so the numbers and units are squared separately. 1 squared equals 1, and 10 to the third squared is equal to 10 to the power 6. So our equation for the relationship of square meters to square millimeters is 1 square meter is equal to 10 to the sixth square millimeters, or 1 million square millimeters. We also know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 or 10 to the third meters. Squaring both sides of this equation gives us one kilometer all squared is equal to 10 to the third meters all squared. Expanding it so that the numbers and the units are squared separately gives us this equation. One squared equals one, and 10 to the power three squared equals 10 to the power six. So we know that an area of 1 kilometer squared is the same as 10 to the 6th or 1 million meters squared. 
Now for a relationship between an imperial unit and a metric unit. We know that 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Squaring both sides gives us this equation. Expanding it so that numbers and units are squared separately gives us this. Again, 1 squared is equal to 1, and 2.54 squared is equal to 6.4516. So our final equation here is an area of 1 square inch is equal to an area of 6.4516 square centimeters. In the imperial system, we know that 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. Squaring both sides gives us 1 foot all squared is equal to 12 inches all squared. Expanding it gives us this equation. 1 squared is equal to 1, and 12 squared is equal to 144. So an area of 1 square foot is the same as 144 square inches. Lastly, we'll compare meters and feet. 1 meter is approximately 3.28 feet. Squaring both sides gives us this equation, and expanding it out gives us this. Again, 1 squared is equal to 1, and 3.28 squared is about 10.76. So an area of 1 square meter is approximately equal to 10.76 square feet. Using this method of taking a length relationship, squaring both sides of the equation, expanding it so that numbers and units are squared separately, and working it out allows us to discover a corresponding area relationship for any length relationship. As you work through more of these, you'll get a lot faster. Once we've worked out an equation for an area relationship, we can use it for a conversion factor when we want to convert area units.